make tea with some cookies and let's go. 2018 February 12. It's February 12th and Battlefield 1 got its last update Apocalypse. It's obvious that DICE with uh, Might and Main are developing new Battlefield part. 2017 July 31 Battlefield, we don't know exact name yet, got its first mention in July 31, 2017. Most of us expected new modern shooter and some of us prayed for Bad Company 3. But after some time it became obvious that it's World War 2 game. 2018 Of course there were a lot of leaks and theories, people realized it will be World War 2 that there will be Battle Royale and that exact name of the game will be Battlefield V or 5 and KR. So much expectations and so much disappointment, but let's talk about it later. May 18. At May 18 we got this teaser trailer. Then leaks start, people are just crazy about new Battlefield. May 23. It's May 23. And we got the most disliked Battlefield trailer in history. Why? Because of inaccurate World War II representation. Do I agree with this? Of course, game can be 100% accurate. But uh, when I see these lovely photos, women screaming, uh, no World War II has. Of course, it's multiplayer game, but it's not how the game have to be positioned in the first trailer. Interestingly, that there was not a single comment in direction of the pre-rendered gameplay, but still, yeah, it was a disaster. Also, how developers were defending it, like, uh, don't like it, don't buy it, or what will I tell my daughter when she asks me why she can't play because there are no girls in the game? <laughs> I don't know, do I have to laugh or cry here, but there was a good part too. They removed premium pass and cases. So, of course, they added a lot of microtransactions, but you don't have to pay to play all gameplay content. A lot of customization is also cool, I didn't like to customize my character, because I don't see him during the battle, but tank customization was pretty cool, when you can add all these helmets, guns and locks uh, that are shaking while tank is moving, or you can buy a camouflage to be practically invisible. Open beta, first chance to try this game, and feelings were a bit, a bit confused. First of all, it's a new Battlefield. New Battlefield? When we saw Battlefield 4, we sat with mouse open. When we saw Battlefield 1, we sat with mouse open. When we saw Battlefield 5, uh, is Battlefield 1 Reskin? Differences from Battlefield 1 were minimal, and usual Battlefield 1 player immediately understood where to click, where to enter, and how the game works in general. This has never happened with Battlefield. Every Battlefield part was something revolutionary, but here, minimal changes. There are always some bugs and shortcomings, so we probably won't touch the technical part, but we will touch political. The most important that New Battlefield, in many ways, was a political product. Their slogan, never before seen portrayal of World War II. Then adding women, all color people in World War II battles where they have never been. And the most fun part is that women fought in USSR side, but DICE didn't add USSR. It's just hilarious. Also this ammo problem that you had like 60 bullets for a game. Positive parts, awesome movement system, walking, running, jumping, parkouring, it's all done to the high standards. Big ammunition boxes on main base and capture points is awesome. And guns, their sound animations are just so sexy. Bullet registration was one of the best in multiplayer game industry. Vehicle sounds effects were just fantastic. I love technical part of this game, they just had to fix some, I mean a lot, <laughs> of glitches and that's all. October 16, official single player trailer release. According to like dislikes, players liked it, but after watching a few shots, I got fear. And so it turned out to be, but uh, we will talk about this later. Then we have a lot of leaks, info about the game that we already know. November 9. 11 days before full release and 6 days until early access. DICE released launch trailer that, I'm not kidding, gives me goosebumps. Music, special effects, directing, it's like 10 out of 10.
lot of critic reviews with ratings like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, there is a great deal of excitement building up. Players started to think that DICE listened to players and repaired all that players were asking for. But then, developer statement about USSR, plus other reputational problems, and the game release itself. November 15. Early access starting right now. Finally we can play full version of the game and talk about war stories. But first a couple of words about multiplayer. They fix the biggest gameplay problems like slow tanks, little ammo and uh, some other but the game itself still was in terrible technical, I mean bugs and glitches condition. And of course all pluses that I mentioned remained. However, there's still unanswered question from earlier. Campaign. My thoughts turn out to be reality, uninteresting gameplay, uninteresting plot and then most importantly, they wrote original story and I think all of you already know that in reality there were two attempts to sabotage Heavily Water Factory. At first attempt all people died or captured and at second mission was successful, but in Battlefield 5 we have never seen before campaign with one strong and independent 18 year old girl that killed all Germans and successfully sabotaged the factory. It just a spit in the face of dead people and their relatives dies. And this is why 12 days after release the game already sells with 50% of discount and still failed to meet sales expectations. March 21. Battlefield 5 Battle Royale. The best Battle Royale in the world and the biggest EA's mistake. Name me any Battle Royale game and I will tell you why Firestorm is better. Honestly, I want to praise this game out for hours, but to fuck up like EA did, it's a must. They made it paid. They made paid Battle Royale for the most failed battlefield in history. I want to cry. I have... I have... I have no more words, destiny of this awesome game mode, it's not even game mode, it could be a complete game. Then a lot of maps, updates, skins, vehicles, they recovered this game and made it, I won't dare say it ideal. No glitches, a lot of new content, cool graphics and wonderful immersion. I played it a lot after last update and a lot of my friends bought it on Steam release. Pacific War is my favorite. I maxed out almost all planes there and now the game is pretty well, better than any code parts anyways. And I won't feel bad if I recommend you to buy and try it, especially for the price that it is selling now.